If you keep chasing a specific person or any other desire, they will keep running away from you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn the tables and have this person or those things chase you instead. What's up superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi. I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach and I'm here to help you manifest your heart's desires. Today, what I want to talk about is how to stop chasing your desires so that they can finally manifest in your life effortlessly, as if by magic. You can have absolutely anything you want. I don't care what it is. It can be a specific person, a job, a specific income, or a specific amount of money, a trip, a specific item. Anything you want, you can manifest, and it doesn't have to be hard. In fact, no matter what you want, can manifest very easily once you understand how to detach, how to stop chasing it, so that it can easily come into your life. And I know that many people find detachment hard, but I promise you it's much easier than you thought. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person that was recently updated with more materials, with visualizations. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is open. You can find the links for all of those things in the description below. Manifesting is a very straightforward process. First, you decide what it is you want to manifest, and this can be a specific person, it can be new love, it can be money, it can be a promotion, it can be a vacation, it can be a car, it can be anything, absolutely anything. Once you know what you want to manifest, the second step is you decide that you are the person who already has that thing. You are that person right now. Manifesting is not about figuring out how to get that thing. It's not about figuring out the physical steps or figuring out how reality will shift and what events will happen in order for you to get what you want. It's only about deciding that right now, this thing is mine. Right now, I am the person who has that thing. All the manifestation techniques that you know, their purpose is to get you into that position of this thing is already mine. So when you're visualizing, it's not the visualization that has power by itself. It's not a magical thing. What the visualization does is it persuades your subconscious mind that you are already the person who has that thing. So let's say that you're manifesting a specific person. When you imagine that you and this person are already together in a steady relationship, this is because if you keep imagining that you're living through that experience of being together with that person, your subconscious mind will get convinced that this is who you are right now, that right now you are in this relationship. Right now, you are that person who isn't single anymore because you are in a relationship with your specific person. If you keep imagining that you are a millionaire, that is because the more you imagine it, you get to a point where your subconscious mind is convinced that this is my reality right now. Right now, I am a person who is a millionaire. The same thing happens whether you use affirmations or scripting or any other technique. Now, the reason some desires seem to manifest easily and other desires seem to be very hard to manifest is because we put some things on a pedestal. Let me give you a few examples. Let's say that what you want to manifest is a brand new car and you feel that this car is way too expensive. So this is not something that you can just go and buy. That is too expensive for you right now. That's the way you think about it. So what happens is you put that car in a pedestal, you make it important and you start trying to figure out ways to get that car. And because that level of reality, the reality where you are the owner of that car feels far away from you, you make it into a difficult thing. You make it into a prize and you feel that you have to struggle and figure out a way to get to where you have that car. And the more you look at reality and you don't see a direct way that could get you to you buying that car, the more you create resistance. So what happens is you're over here where you don't have the car and the version of you that has the car is over there. The car is on a pedestal. And the more you chase the car, the more you try to find ways to get the car, 
the farther away it moves because the more important you make it, the more difficult it seems to you, the higher up on the pedestal it becomes. Because what you're focusing on is, I'm here where that thing or that person is not mine and that thing or that person is over there. So the more I try to get over there, what is my focus on? My focus is on the fact that I'm not where that thing is. And what you focus on is what you manifest in your reality. And most people think this has to do with physical reality showing you that this thing is not yours yet. Your car keeps breaking down, so it's not you, it's reality telling you you own a crappy car and not the car that you want. But this is not it, because if we check the things that we manifest easily, if we check the things that manifest automatically in our lives you will see that it's not about what current reality is showing you. So let's look at an example about something you may really, really want, but you don't have any resistance towards. You're not attached to it. Let's say that you really, really, really want a cup of coffee right now. You want to need coffee very badly right now. So you go to the nearest coffee store and it's closed. What do you do? Do you decide that, hey, reality is showing me that I cannot have a cup of coffee and oh my God, I want that cup of coffee so very badly right now? No, you know there are other coffee places. You know you have coffee at home or at work. One way or another, you're going to get that cup of coffee. So you don't actually put any importance on the fact that the coffee store is closed. You already know that this coffee is mine. I practically already bought a cup of coffee. You don't overthink getting a cup of coffee. One way or another, you're going to have a cup of coffee very, very soon. So it's practically a done deal. So on the inside, you're not attached to the cup of coffee. On the inside, you know that if I want a cup of coffee, I have a cup of coffee. Or let's say that what you want is an item that is a bit more expensive. Let's say that it's a designer bag. And right now, you don't have enough money to go buy that bag. But you know that in a couple of days, you're going to get paid and you are going to have enough money to buy that bag. So how do you think about that bag? Do you think about it as something that's up on a pedestal and it will be so huge if you got that bag? Or do you imagine that this bag is already yours because it practically is? In your mind, you already have it. You decided to get it. You're going to go to the store and buy that bag in two days. It's not a big deal. It's already yours. In both of those cases, the bag and the coffee, the difference is you already assume that those things are yours. You already assume that you are the person who has those things right now. Reality is still the same. Reality is telling you right now you're not holding a cup of coffee. Right now you have your old bag. You don't have the new designer bag. But in your mind, those things are already yours. And that's why you can just have them without a huge time gap, without huge effort, without visualizing a million times a day for months, you can just have those things. So are you ready to hear how to make all your desires manifest just as easily as that cup of coffee or the bag in my example? Let's do this. The first thing that you need to realize so that all your desires become easy to manifest is that all those problems, all that distance that you create between you and the thing that you want are all in your mind. Nothing in this reality has any meaning. You manifest the whole thing. You, only you, nobody else. So no matter what is in your reality, it can be a person, it can be a group of people, it can be a specific item, it can be money, it can be anything. No matter what it is, you decide what it means. You decide that it's important. You decide that it's far off. You decide that it's difficult. You decide that it requires effort. And you manifest this reality. So it doesn't matter what you decided in the past. You can just take that thing off the pedestal and decide, it is mine now and it is natural for me to have it. The thing by itself cannot be difficult. It's just an illusion. It's like having a dream about it. Imagine having a dream where you spent eight hours in a big city full of coffee shops looking for coffee and it feels so difficult. But then you wake up and realize that <laughs> this is just stupid. I can get coffee anywhere I want. What a crazy dream. Well, that applies to any desire because this reality is like a huge dream. Dreams are created by your subconscious mind and physical reality guess what, is also created by your subconscious mind. 
So whatever story you have around your desire, that person, that thing you want, it's just a story. It's just a made up story. Just like the dream about not finding coffee. And you created that story so you can just decide that it doesn't apply anymore. You can just throw it out the window. Throw all the stories you have about this person or this item or this desire out the window. Throw anything you have attached to this out the window and just decide it is already mine. It's mine. I don't have to think about whether it's easy or difficult anymore because who cares? It's mine. Other people who don't have it can figure out if it's easy or difficult. For me, it's a given. It's already mine. That bag is in my house. That person is my specific person and we have been together for a whole year. That promotion, <laughs> that I got last year. It's done. It's mine. I don't have anything to figure out. If it helps, you can imagine that you have tags with your name on them, just like you do with, I don't know, your yogurt or anything else you bring to work for lunch. And you put the tags on the things or the people that you want to claim as yours and just claim them as yours. And it's a done deal. They're yours. The second step is this. Now that you claim that thing as already being yours, stop putting it on a pedestal. It's not that important anymore. It's a done deal. Sure, you may appreciate having it, but it's not a big deal because it's already yours. Think of something that you wanted in the past, you really, really wanted and you finally got. Let's say that you wanted a new phone. You wanted a specific model and you're waiting for it to come out for months and then you stood in line for hours because so many other people wanted to get that phone on the first day it was released. And you felt so happy when you finally held it in your hands. And now it's six months later and it's just a plain old phone, you know? You still love having it, but you don't focus on it. You just use it for the things you want. This is the kind of feeling and the kind of you you need to have about the thing that you want to manifest that you used to make so very important. Step three, you've already claimed that thing as yours and you understand how it's not a big deal. So here's what you need to do during the rest of the day to make that thing manifest in your reality. Here's what I want you to do. Every time during the day where you catch yourself thinking something like, once I have this desire, I will do this, I want you to reverse the way you think about this. Let me give you a few examples so that you can understand what I mean. Let's say that what you have been manifesting is to become a millionaire. And you're used to looking at things and thinking, once I become a millionaire, I will come and buy one of those things because I've always wanted one. It can be, again, it can be a designer bag or it can be anything. So that's the way you have been thinking up until now. You pass by a shop window, you see something that you like, but you feel that you cannot afford it. And you think, once I manifest being a millionaire, I can come buy one of those. Or you may be thinking, oh man, I wish I were a millionaire because I could just walk right into that store and buy one of those. And it wouldn't even mean anything because it doesn't cost that much to a millionaire. It's nothing. But right now I cannot have it yet. So that's the way you have been thinking up until now. What I want you to do is I want you to reverse that and start those thoughts with because, and you insert your desire as yours, I could go and buy one of those. So you walk by a store and you see this item that you really would like to buy and you think, hmm, because I am now a millionaire, I could just walk into that store and buy that thing. Isn't that amazing? And you just keep walking. You don't have to go into the store and buy the thing. I just want you to start your sentences with because I am already a millionaire, I could do this right now. Let's say that you always wanted to go on a vacation somewhere and you kept thinking once I become a millionaire or once I make more money, I will look into how much it costs to be there, uh, what hotels there are, what flights there are from where I am to that destination. Well, you can go online and look that up, telling yourself, because I'm now a millionaire, it is time to start researching the things that I need for that trip. You don't have to book a ticket. You don't have to go now. Just because you're a millionaire doesn't mean that you will drop everything and fly to that destination right now. But because you're a millionaire, you can go and look for those tickets and how much they cost and what hotels are available. Isn't that something that you said that if I ever become a millionaire, that's what I'm going to do? Well, do it now. 
not the whole trip, but the research, and tell your mind, because I'm already a millionaire, this is why I'm doing this. And that makes the gap zero. You're not here and your desire is over there on a pedestal. You are here and your desire is here already. Or let's say that you want to get a very difficult degree. You're in med school and you have your finals and you're really struggling because you have to study so much. Don't start from, oh my God, I need to pass those exams because if I fail, what am I going to do and I will never become a doctor? You start from the assumption that you are a doctor already. Because I am a doctor, I enjoy reading medical texts. And that's what I'm doing right now. Let's say that you want to manifest moving in with your specific person. You look at furniture and you think, because I have already moved in with my specific person, I'm looking at coffee tables because we need a better one. And also you apply this with all the things that in your mind you would get to after this one big desire manifested. Because many people think like this, say that you want to manifest a specific person and this is your one big desire. This is the only thing you're focused on. This is the thing you own most in the world right now. You also need more money or a better job, but in your mind, you don't have the time and the energy to manifest both things. You want the specific person. Once you have that, then you can focus on money. So instead of thinking like that, what I want you to do is every time you think about the money thing, you tell yourself, okay, because I already manifested my specific person and we're together now, now I'm free to think of how to manifest that promotion. Because I have my specific person, now I can do this thing that I was putting off because before I was pouring so much time and energy into manifesting my specific person. Because I already manifested the car and it's mine now, I don't have to save up for a car anymore so I can look into renovating the kitchen like I wanted to do. This technique puts you right into the identity of the person who already has that desire. You already have it. If you already had it, you wouldn't be focused on manifesting it. You would be focused on all the other things you want. So if you do it now and you word it to yourself like that, because I already am that, because I already have that, now I can focus on that other thing. That's when your subconscious mind gets the message that this thing is not up on a pedestal anymore. It's ours. We don't have to focus on it. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to figure anything out. It has already happened. And that's how it manifests. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.